Let's go from this to this. Hey, what's up? My name is Shivam and today we are checking out a tool that recently picked up traction, Boost Space. It's an automation tool that can help us streamline the process of connecting various apps like Shopify, Facebook, Google Ads, LinkedIn, etc. You can say it's Zapier and Airtable alternative, but is it? Let's find out. Personally, I got this from AppSumo for $59 for a lifetime deal with my Plus account. Same plan is for $47 a month on their website. You are smart enough. These are the rest of the plans side by side to their website. Mainly the difference is about the number of operations per month, records and admins. You can see which one suits you the best and choose accordingly. If you want to check it out, you can do so from the description below. When we are logged in, this is what the dashboard looks like. So basically there are all these modules like tasks, contacts, products, calendars, forms, projects, etc. First when you create an account, you will see only a few. To add more, just go down here and add the ones you need for your automations. Below that, we have connected data. This helps us connect data sources to the spaces. Last but not least, we have data share. This is all the data going out of the space. I know it's a bit confusing. Let's create a demo ourselves for better understanding. Once you get the gist of it, you can build your automations. Or if you are unsure of the used case, then here we can see all the pre-built flows. We can follow these to create e-commerce automation, sales funnel, Google ads automation, etc. Let's not drown in this overwhelming world. We'll create our own not so complex automation for now. Say I have a YouTube channel where I posted a payment gateway video. I have an email list with me who are interested in those types of videos. I'm planning to make a video on the same topic and I want to send out an email to them to get some views. I have created an email list already. However, I could do that from here as well, but I found it quick to do it from the Sendfox dashboard. So what I'll do here, I'll select the contact, create a space, let's name it payment gateway, share with everyone, select main email for duplicate detection and create. We have the space created, let's connect the data source. We can connect multiple data sources and set the priority if we are on the scale plan. Select Google Sheets. While you are here, you will notice that there are so many integrations. They claim to have 1800 plus app integrations. That's a lot. Anyways, we get ready to use templates, basic templates, or we can create from scratch. We are going with this template. Here we have two modules. One is Google Sheet and second is Contact. Select the spreadsheet, sheet and rows to import and select the row limit for this import. Let's say 10 for now. Then we need to set up boost contacts. Here we have all these fields. We can also use AI mapping that will automatically map it. For some reason, it doesn't work for me, so I do it manually. Add first name, last name, and email, and we are done. Once it's all set, we can run it from here. And it also gives us the option to run at intervals. Hit run once. And that's it, it has executed the task and will be able to see all the imported contacts. It's also showing some automations that I created in the past, I don't know why, but it's not doing anything so I don't mind. Let's move on to exporting the data. In a similar fashion, we can export the data. To do so, select share, add a new data share, select boost contacts. This time we are going to create from scratch. Module window will pop up and will select Boost Contacts. Limit it to 10 again. Then we are going to add SendFox module and we'll set it to create a contact. Here we'll map email, first name and last name. And last but not least, we'll select the list I created earlier. Set it to run. It will take a couple of seconds and we are done. As you can see, we have all the contacts in the list. That was easy. In the data flow section, we can have a better understanding of the flow. It was just a simple demonstration. I wanted to keep it simple just to show you the interface. You can definitely do complex automations. I'll admit that user interface requires a learning curve. They have room for improvement here. Rest for what it does is magic. If you think this will make your work easier, then you can check out the affiliate link in the description below. That makes me sustain this channel. If not, I'll find an even better app for you. 
just subscribe for that. That wraps up today's video. Hope you guys found it helpful. If you are looking for unlimited cloud storage for your business, then this video will definitely help. And if you are looking for Microsoft alternative, then there you go. Like, share, subscribe. Stay safe. Bye-bye.